Assalamu alaikum. There would be numerous situations in which a surgeon may consider doing a Z-plasty, not only in facial surgery or skin surgery in general, but also in areas like the palate or uh, pharyngeal surgery or other areas as well. This presentation is about uh, discussing the need for multiple Z-plasty in preference to a single Z plasty in such situations. Generally speaking, the fundamental idea behind the Z plasty is to recruit tissues from one axis in the surgical field and redistributing these tissues along another axis, thereby lengthening in one direction on the expense of shortening in another direction where you have more uh, redundant tissues. And this can be used to your advantage while considering widening of stenotic segments, for example, by adding more tissues in the stenotic part, readjusting or relocating of important anatomical uh, landmarks, like in the corner of the eye or in uh, the base of the ala of the nose, or effacement of a web in which you would take the redundant tissues or the extra tissues from one area and redistribute it to flatten the wound in another area. But why multiple Z-plasties may be needed in some situations in preference to the classic Z-plasty with, with the transpositioning of two triangular flaps only? The answer is there may be situations in which more gain in the length and the central limb is required more than what a classic Z-plasty would offer, or less shortening in the transverse uh, direction where you have less redundant tissues uh, to redistribute along the axis of lengthening, or if you want much less wound tension, plus things like less uh, problems with dog ear elevations or breaking down of uh, linear scars. And this would demonstrate why sometimes multiple Z plasty is required. We have here a central scar of four centimeters. And if you want to do the classic Z plasty, you would take a 60 degree angle, for example, four centimeters up and down the wound. But if you don't have enough tissues up and down the wound in the transverse direction for the classic Z-plasty, you can do with much less tissues in there if you do the multiple Z-plasties, each with one centimeter length. So you have here four Z-plasties, four pairs of uh, triangular flaps to be transpositioned rather than the classic two uh, big pairs, but you have saved all the tissues and all this amount of tissue here and there of in the transverse direction, either because they are limited or because they are scarred or because there is much tension in there. You are only using one centimeter in the transverse direction up and above, up and below uh, the central scar. There are two types of multiple Z-plasty that would serve different purposes. The Z-plasty in series is the one you would consider using if you have limited amount of tissues in the transverse direction, the direction above and below the central limb. In this situation, the central limb is going to be divided into smaller units. So you have multiple z plasties along the central limb rather than having one big central limb with four or eight centimeters you would have smaller limbs with one centimeter each for example and that would recruit only a limited amount of tissues from the transverse direction to affect lengthening of the central scar the other type the z plasty in parallel would actually offer a maximum extension of the central scar. The central limb would remain the same, but by doing the multiple in parallel type of Z-plasty, 
you would extend the wound in this direction uh, almost uh, 100 or 150 times its original length, but on the expense of using more tissues from the transverse direction. So if you have less tissues in the transverse direction, in series is the preferred option. If you want more extension of the central limb in the uh, main direction of the Z-plasty, then in parallel would be used. How much increase in the length of the central limb you could expect with multiple Z-plasties? If you are doing the in-series option, then what you get, the ultimate extension of the central limb would be equal to the extension that you would have gained by doing a simple um, Z-plasty with only two transpositioning flaps. The advantage here is that you use much less of the transverse tissues. So in this uh, example, where you have a four centimeter central limb that has been divided into four, diff four smaller Z-plasties, the gain is the same like if you have used only one Z-plasty with a 60 degrees angle here, for example that would give you a 75% extension of the central limb. You get here 75% multiplied by four. So the resultant uh, extension is, is the same. And you get uh, exactly the same if you have the extension of the um, Z-plasty here in opposition rather than um, following each other. You could have the two Z-plasties opposing each other. But because you have used the multiple uh, Z-plasties in series, the extension is still the same. The, you've divided the central limb, but the extension is still equal to about 75% of its length. Again, with the advantage of using less transverse tissues. But if you want more extension in the central limb than uh, the classic Z-plasty can offer, then a four flap Z plasty with 45 degrees each would give you almost 100% increase in the length of the central limb. If you want more, you can use the six flaps with 45 degrees angles here each, or you can use uh, four flaps with uh, 120 degrees here divided into two 60 degrees. Then you can achieve uh, more than 150% increase in the uh, length of the central limb. This cannot be uh, offered by the classic two flaps Z-plasty. And this is to demonstrate how these multiple uh, in-series Z-plasties can be planned. You've got here a four centimeters central limb. You're going to divide it into two smaller uh, Z-plasties, each with two centimeters the uh, ultimate extension of the uh, length of the central limb will be 75%, like another extra three centimeter in the direction of the central axis, which have been divided into two uh, smaller Z-plasties. You can do it the other way. Again, a four centimeter length, rather than having uh, the full traditional Z-plasty with another uh, limb, lateral limbs here of four centimeters. You do two smaller Z-plasties, each with two centimeters in length. And these two smaller opposing Z-plasties would still give you a 75% increase in the length of the central limb, but on uh, the advantage of much less transverse tissue uh, displacement. On the other hand, when more gain in the length of the central limb is required, we do the in parallel type of the uh, multiple Z plasties. And here, the central limb will remain the same, but we have now four angles in here, we divided the 90 degrees into 245 degrees up and below the central limb. 
Now you have four different flaps, each with 40 degrees angle at its top, and this would give you an extension of the wound that is almost equal to 100%. Or the other option is if you want more extension than 100% is to get these four flaps each with 60 degrees rather than 45 degrees. Or you can have six different flaps, each with 45 degrees, like in this example. And by this, you would achieve 150% increase in the length of this central limb on the expense of taking more tissues from the transverse direction. And to demonstrate the effect of this four flap Z plus the, the multiple Z plus the in parallel, the four flaps are now interposed. And now you can see the effect of interposing the four flaps on the length of the central uh, scar of the central limb. Once the uh, flaps are in position, this is a four centimeter central limb. When you put all the flaps in position, you get more than 100% increase in the length. This is four centimeters here and another four centimeters beside it. So that's almost 100% increase in the length of the central limb. I hope I've demonstrated why multiple Z plus this can be useful. Um, and the following presentations will go through some of the types of multiple Z-plastids with specific indications, like the um, Z-plastids in series, or the double opposing Z-plastids, the four flaps, or the six flaps Z-plastids, the five flap, uh, flaps Z-plastids, and the dancing man procedure. Salam alaikum.